I would also like to invite all of you tomorrow to 10 o'clock to our Pearl Harbor Memorial Park here in Mission, where we're going to be having a dedication for a relic from the USS Arizona. It'll be at 10 a.m. in our Pearl Harbor Memorial Park on Mart Way in Maple. Now, without further ado, it's my privilege and pleasure to introduce Congressman Kevin Yoder, our representative from Kansas 3rd Congressional District. Yoder is a fifth generation Kansan who grew up on a farm near the town of Yoder, Kansas. He attended the University of Kansas where he received degrees in political science, English, and law. He has served as a state representative in the House Legislature and during that time chaired the House Appropriations Committee where he led efforts to cut spending and balance the state budget. This past January, Congressman Yoder began his first term as our representative. As a member of the 112th Congress, he has been selected to serve on the House Appropriations Committee, the, Com the Commerce Committee, the Justice Committee, the Science Subcommittee, the Finance Services Subcommittee, and the Military Construction and Veterans Affairs Subcommittee. I want to thank Kevin for his commitment to our community and for being here today to share his ideas, to hear our concerns, and to answer our questions. Congressman Yoder will be also participating in our dedication tomorrow with that USS Arizona relic at the Pearl Harbor Memorial Park. I want to thank Kevin personally for taking time out of his busy schedule to be part of that ceremony tomorrow. So please join me in welcoming Congressman Kevin Yoder to mission.
State Senator Ray Merrick. Uh, Senator Merrick. Uh, we have a couple of state reps here. We have, I just saw uh, State Representative Dr. B uh, Barbara Bollier is here. <laughs> state Representative Roth Ruckman. Roth, uh, Roth, there you are. <laughs> we have the Mayor of Prairie Village, as well as the Mayor of Michigan, but the Mayor of Prairie Village, Ron Schaefer. Where's Ron? There you are. Sir. <laughs> And we have the uh, another city councilman from Prairie Village, Dale Warman, uh, sir. Councilman, thank you. Very much. And I have a couple of my former colleagues here that we served together in the house and uh, worked together in Topeka. One of them is uh, Gene Raritan. Gene's here today. And we also have former state representative from Mission, Ronnie Metzger, is here today. Ronnie. Thank you for being here today, sir. We also have a uh, former uh, Johnson County Sheriff, Curry Myers, in the back of the room here. Curry, thank you for being here, sir. And we have uh, a former uh, Shawnee Mission School Board member who also happens to be a member of my staff, and that's Susan Metzger. Susan, thank you for being here. And so, any other elected officials here? I know we've got a lot of folks in the uh, so. Well, let me also introduce a few of my staff members, and I will tell you that constituent services is very, very important to me. We may not always get it right, we may not always answer every question the way folks want to have it answered, but I stress very seriously with my staff and with everybody that we work very hard to be responsive to questions you might have, and to be available, and to be accessible. And so I want to start by introducing my staff so that you know who to call on when you have a concern, when you have a federal question, when you want to relay a message to me, uh, that you know who are folks in our district office. And so I want to start. Uh, with Molly Hayes, who's my district director. Molly, if you'd wave in the back there. Uh, and then I also want to introduce um, Ethan Patterson. Ethan, it's over here. Ethan, if you'll wave. There you go. And then we have Susan Metzger. So let me go over a few issues here uh, and have a chance to kind of tell you where we've been and what's going on. First of all, as you all know, uh, I'm your new congressman. I was elected last November. If you remember last uh, fall, last summer, uh, we had a primary election, a general election. I was fortunate uh, to, uh, to win those elections and have a chance to be your voice in the halls of Washington, uh, in the Capitol. And it's, a, it's an honor to serve you all. I grew up in Kansas. I've been in Kansas all of my life. I grew up, for those of you who know, a little town called Yoder, Kansas out by Hutchinson, a little Amish and Mennonite uh, community. Uh, I attended Hutchinson Public School and then was at the University of Kansas uh, in Lawrence uh, and then have been here in Overland Park where I live. And with the other person I want to uh, recognize here, the most important person in my life, my wife, Brooke. Brooke, if you can uh, I come back every weekend. Uh, I haven't spent a weekend in Washington, D.C. yet. I think it's very important to be back in the district, to shop in the same places, to do the same things, and uh, to be here. Uh, as much as possible. And so this is a week we were home. Uh, we've done several events. Uh, we try to do a lot of events in the district. This is our fifth town hall meeting we've done in five months. So we've done one every month so far. Uh, we've been in all different corners of the district. Uh, I've been to Chambers of Commerce all over the district, to Rotary Clubs. I've toured uh, Head Start facilities. I've toured TLC. We've toured hospitals. We've tried to really get out and see as many people as we could so that we could be as accessible as possible. Uh, I do want to say if there's a place you think we should go, something you think that I should see firsthand uh, to understand what's going on, if you'll let me know or let my staff know, hey, we'd like you to come out and see this problem because maybe you're not getting it or maybe you're doing a great job and want, to see, want you to see what good work we're doing, whichever way, happy to come out.